Hello everybody, I'm Tony, and welcome to my channel. This is Butterfly Nurse Thrift. I have an eBay store, and I also sell on Instagram. If you see anything in this thrift haul that you would like to purchase, just contact me. All my information is in the description box. So here we go. I have that very Art Deco looking um, coffee pot percolator and it was a dollar and I might keep that because I like to hear good coffee percolating in the mornings in the winter time and look at that cat that's so cute he's got Siamese eyes and he's painted like a quilt with stitching he's ceramic see the bottom there and there's a tin underneath that has um, it's full of buttons and you know sewing things and this is a um, wall hanger it's handmade it's very beautiful clean just perfect and there's a vintage angel let's see how much she was she was 50 cents. Beautiful, you know, the paper cone on the bottom. And these beautiful swans, they were a dollar a piece. They have a beautiful iridescence to them with the polished bottom. There's a set of those. And these are the first, um, Putz houses, you know, vintage ones that I've ever seen in the wild. They have Japan on the bottom. That one was a dollar. Very cool. And these have the mercury glass. There's a few uh, beads missing. It was 25 cents. Also made in Japan. And those are just, I just love those. And we have this um, dresser scarf because as they say dressers get cold and there's a matching pair and there's no stains or anything they're just perfect then this is this little pillow with the embroidery no no stains or anything on that one either these tea towels or bathroom towels Mr. and Mrs. Beautiful work with the little tatting on the bottom. And the baby doll, um, she has no face, so I don't know if she's an Amish baby doll. Um, she was 25 cents. No, she was $2. It's upside down. And look at that beautiful work. So those just, those match the hearts. And um, the afghan with the the ruffle ends for Christmas. It's beautiful. And let me pause and we'll go to the bottom, to the floor. Hold on. Okay, we'll start on this end and move over. I cannot resist a good old-fashioned pencil sharpener. And here is um, a Boston vacuum mount. It's got the, the vacuum mount on the bottom and it's um, the seal is good. And I did try it on the tabletop and it wor works really well. And that cost $5. I splurged on that one. I love a good pencil sharpener. It just takes me back to being in school. And you hear that, you know... That grinding of the pencil, so it's good. Um, this doorknob hanger. It was 50 cents. And it's vintage. You can feel the felt on the back. And um, the lady of the house sewed that. And there's the sequins. Love a good Christmas sequin. And here's some old books. I looked in one of them and the the date inside is 1939. They're in rough condition and 
the binding on the back here. There's the cat. So sorry. The binding. The spine is inside the book. But that is Mickey Mouse and Pluto and the race. It's got the good pages in it that, that smell good. The little graphics. I like those. Um, I don't know. Those were probably a couple dollars. And the Texas Ranger. And being from Texas, I could not pass that up. And like I said, it's in rough condition. There's the spine. It can also serve as a bookmark. Here's a sled. And that is Fitz and Floyd Festival Bells. Fitz and Floyd sells pretty good on eBay. Here's a stack of kids books. They look like they were well loved, but people use those for um, junk journals and scrapbooking. So there's a big pile of those. And um, here's Easter, because you know, you go to a state sale, you get all the holidays. It's a ceramic bunny. He was 25 cents. He's got his little Easter egg. Here's a Santa head. He's sleeping, or I hope he's sleeping. Santa might need CPR. Um, anyway, he's um, somebody could do something with him. <laughs> Here is more Santa heads. This is a very happy Santa. And he's got a gangster tattoo maybe on his eye. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's a wrinkle. Uh, he was... Come on, Santa. Give me your tag. He was a dollar. And there is another Santa. This one is the hanger. Hanger kind. And he's weighted. He's kind of heavy. Uh oh, there's his weight. That's why he's heavy. He's older. He can just feel he was $5. I just can't pass up the vintage Christmas. Here is a vintage um, snowman. He was 50 cents. And he's older. You can tell by the cardboard on the bottom. He's very nice. Then we have some angels. They're wooden got a sweet little face these were 50 cents a piece then I think these are cool these are bluebirds they're ceramic they were 25 cents a piece and I know the family that these came from so I know who this person is it says December 1956, David Shepard from Mother and Papa Grantham. And I just think that's sweet. And this gentleman was, a, well, he's still, he's still with us. He's a farmer. And um, those belong to him. And uh, they do have a little chip there on the tail. Which I'm sure these were well loved. And we have some um, Odegary Japan coffee mugs. The sleigh scene on there. Wagon. Those are nice. No chips or cracks or anything on those. Then we have the dancing twirling Santa. He was 25 cents. Now this odd looking elf, I think he was 25 cents. He looks like he can hang on a pot or whatever. He's also an ornament. Anyway, he's ceramic. I don't know how old he is. We have Kissy Kissy Santa. He was a dollar. This was Danny's. Painted by Estelle. Oh, well, this is also Kissy Santa. 
he's got the good lips and I don't know who painted this one and it does not have a name on it then we have the old standby home co elves they were 50 cents for the three set of three cute have the vintage sequined ornament and that one's kind of cool because it's on its own little stand and it just sits there we have the santa boot that's um a little worse for wear with the cold painting that's coming off oh and there's some hangers in the bottom of it and here's another santa boot this one's a little sexier santa and it was a dollar. It's newer. Here's a um, saw blade that's painted with a barn scene on it. And the classic vintage juice reamer, uranium glass. You know, and I didn't feel any chips or cracks on this. Usually they're chipped and I have to pass them up. And it was a dollar and it does glow very well so y'all this is my estate so haul if there's anything you'd like just please contact me and um, everybody stay healthy and I'll see y'all in my next video thank you very much bye